I'm here with Luke Ritter View, and this is Into the Mind of Luke. What's good? Talk to me. Bro, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm living a dream right now, bro. I'm living a dream right now. Like, everything is going my way, bro. Because I'm staying positive, and the, the people around me I'm surrounding myself with is putting in work for me, which is, is making me put more work. So like right now it's just like the energy is crazy right now, bro. That's a big plus. Having that those people around you, it's all about that if you really think about it, man. Yo, bro, I'm blessed right now. I'm, I feel like I'm in a euphoric, like even right here with y'all, bro. Like, I feel like I'm in like a vibe right now, bro. <laughs> bro, I, honestly, I'm just smiling because that's a fact, and that's just really how it gets to. When you like to hear that, that shit makes me happy. You know what I'm saying, bro? Let's do it, bro. Let's not we go. I feel like we can do big things, bro. I feel like we can do it. We gotta do it. We literally gotta do it. Like, for There's our, no other choice, bro. We're doing it. Nah, it's not a matter There's of no other choice. choice. That's just going down. No, no, it's, it's going, going down. down. It's going down, bro. It's GG's. It's really GG's. Yeah. <laughs> it's GG's. But all right, all right. So, Lou. Lou. What My name is Louis Polanco. So I just cut off my first name in half, basically. So this is Lou. So I came up with the artist name. I feel that. I feel that. Let's open that. I just try to keep it as simple as possible to where I'm still me. I don't want to just like change into somebody. Like I want to be me. You feel me? So that's why I kept it like that. I could have. I could have obviously went a different route. Change it up to some random ass shit. <laughs> like put it in a generator. So that's what I want with it. And like so like when you start what with singing, what is it they really like, you know, give some a little bit more characteristics, just a little bit more about I don't know, your style is really more on it, you know? Yeah. So basically when I was younger I used to listen to Chris Brown a lot. Trey songs, those were like my main Two at first, when I was growing up in high school, so I was just like more of a uh, outgoing guy, confident guy. That that was the because of the music I was listening to. So in that era, I was CB Trey. Then I moved to basically moved to the weekend. The weekend is like that's top that's top three for me, bro. Like, artist wise, R&B wise, like he he revolutionized the game, bro. Man, like infused a lot of genres. So he's like, when I started listening to him, is when I actually started listening to music, like feeling the 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 soul of the music. You feel me? So with CB Trey was like more of a like, it was just like more of a physical type thing. It was like not really spiritual. You feel me? But when I started listening to the weekend, that's when I got started listening to music, like listening, feeling. So I used to just sing along. Just singing along and stuff. Yeah. Well, all, all three of those people. So. so you think that whole like feeling the music is what led you to say, oh, I think I gotta sing now. Yeah, bro. Like, it, I, it just felt good. Like, it was like me freestyling life and that was like the thing. Like, it was baseball. I used to play baseball and singing. Because my dad used to have a, a studio <laughs> in our like, one of our childhood homes. Bro, but for Spanish. So like, it was always artists in and out of my house, in and out of my house with a big ass studio. Yeah. So I'm just like sitting there like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I used to be playing 2K, yeah. little shit, watching that shit pass me by or whatever when I was younger. My dad actually has a fucking video. He was like, yo, you should start singing. And I was like, nah, I'm good. Like, I had stage fright or whatever. So yeah. he just recorded me uh, singing an Usher song. I don't know, bro. That shit's probably in the lost files, bro. <laughs> if we ever find it, can we, we gotta find that. If we gotta find that. Come back to this and play that, you know? Yeah, bro, because that could be crazy. And then you went from there, okay? So what was the Usher song, and then you just started, what happened with that? So from there, I just started singing CP shit, Trey, some Trey shit, and that's when I transitioned to The Weeknd. When I listened, when I started listening to The Weeknd was when, like, my genres for like listening to other music, like expanding. So I would start listening to harder rap, or uh, harder rap, like hardcore or like emo shit or like fucking 
Love, love shit. Yeah. It just expanded everything. Mm -hmm. And you see yourself expanding to those genres musically, or where do you, where do you sort of fit in? You know, like where yeah. does that all sort of come together to a certain point? Or yeah, I mean, like for me, it's about a feeling. Like, <clears throat> my music is always gonna be what I'm feeling at the time, mostly, like 99 percent. And then the, that one percent is gonna be about experiences. In the past and stuff like that, like past relationships, past um, situations and stuff like that. So it's mostly gonna be what I'm, whatever I'm feeling at the time. So like, if I'm a happy, I have a happy mood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be happy, happy, energetic vibes. You feel me? Yeah. I'll be a little sad one day because oh, family, something, somebody's sick in my family or something. Yeah. Then it'll be like the lyrics will just alternate as far as energy. When I think of that, actually, so. It's pretty cool that you say that how like different songs, for example, you'll look at a song and you'll know what time period you were in based on how you were feeling, right? Or show a little bit about that. Because what I was thinking was maybe, what all we go to your SoundCloud? Yeah. And maybe you look at a song and you would think about we could play a little bit of it, listen to it for a bit. I'm down. So you see, like, you can sort of say, like, oh, at that point I was like, oh, I was thinking like that. I'm down, bro. Let's see, which one you want to play? Yeah, I just drop all those. Oh, what's your SoundCloud, by the way, after you pick the song? Uh, my SoundCloud is Lou Official Music. We'll put a link in bio. L U Official Music. Probably play, just probably play our first song ever, bro. Let's fuck it. Which one? Love Hate, bro. Love Hate? I don't know why everybody loves that shit. That's our first song. I don't get it. We like a couple songs. When do you guys. We'll play a bit of this one. Then we'll also listen to a bit of the Probably. Scientists, all those creators, bro, that everybody was suppressing, bro. This is what it's feeling like, bro. So I would, I would probably, I would probably tell K Savvy to hop on it. K Savvy, my bro. I would probably have to tell mostly everyone I know already <laughs> fucking with y'all because yeah, like, that shit is fire, bro. Like, you feel me? So that's probably the only one I can think of because everybody else is already doing it because they know the vibes, bro. Yeah. You know the fucking vibes, bro. Look at the view, bro. Yeah, look at the view. Like, just in the name, bro. And just how you say it. No matter how you say it, it's going to resonate at a certain level. Which is, like, that. fire, bro. Appreciate that. Well, bro, that's what it is. Look at the view. Until my new loop. Let's get it, bro. Sirens. Support. Sirens coming soon. Oh, yeah. Sirens coming soon. You got to make sure you update us. Like, and you currently, you don't know release date currently as of now. Nah, as of now. Everybody update just yeah, on Instagram. Bro. Add a new official music. Add a new official on Add Twitter. Add new on Twitter too. On Twitter is on Twitter too. The same shit. And all, all the other platforms, Spotify, how do you yeah, get to there? All, all the links are on your Twitter. Oh, actually speaking of all YouTube. that, all you got to go is to lucrativeyouth.com slash creators. And then in there we have Lou's official profile where has access to all his social links, his music bio. videos, dreams, shot by... Photo films. Link in bio. That's link in bio. Everything's in there. Just link in. Literally the link. <laughs> You're going to learn about Luke reviews today, boy. <laughs> You're going to learn about Luke today. You're going to learn about the whole community. <laughs> All right.